Hey guys, this was a video request by uh, STHFNGID. Uh, he wanted me to show uh, Speed Assist knives and um, you know how they work and maybe even a comparison between a couple different ones. Um, but today I'm going to be showing the, uh, the inside of a Kershaw chive. And you can see it open here. I started making this video and I, you know, in the video I took it apart and what happened was all the pieces kind of fell, fell apart on me there and I was, you know, I had a lot of dead air where I wasn't really explaining anything, I was just trying to fix it. Um, so I decided to, to take the scale, the front scale off and then put the two body screws back in right here and here to keep these parts kind of together so I can show you um, more easily. So basically what I did, the uh, Kershaw chive has uh, three screws. It has a smaller uh, pivot screw. Okay, that's what holds the blade to the handles. Then it has two body screws that keeps the, the construction together. Now I will let you know that um, taking your, apart your knife may void uh, your warranty. So you might want to, you know, whatever knife you're using, whatever company, go to their website and check out the warranty information and, uh, you know, see if, if that's going to void your warranty. Because it's something you might not want to mess with. Um, you know, down the road if you want to send your knife in and they can tell that you took it apart, you might end up having to pay for your uh, repair as opposed to having it free. Um, but anyway, what I'm using here is a uh, Torx driver. This is a Husky kit. This is about, you know, 8 or $9 at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, you know, or your hardware store, wherever you live. Um, Torx bits are used uh, mo more often than any other screw, in my uh, experience, with uh, production knives. And it's basically just a star shape, okay, as you know, opposed to like a, um, an Allen key. Imagine that with uh, points. It's a six-pointed star. And this one is a, this, uh, these screws all take, all three screws here take a size six uh, Torx bit. Um, but anyway, this is what you have when you take the top scale off. And by the way, if you're not familiar, I should have started the video off like this, but if you're not familiar with uh, speed assist, that's where you manually push the blade, either by the flipper or thumb stud, you know, however you want to do it. Um, when you manually push the, bra the blade, it starts to open, and at some point, something inside, something internal, um, catches the blade and shoots it out. Um, and that's a torsion bar. That is this little bar right here. And I'll show you how that works. It's uh, kind of like a spring, but it, you know, it works on the same, the same way as a spring does, but it's not, technically it's not considered an automatic knife because you're not pushing a button um, to release it. You're manually pushing on the blade. It's kind of a technicality uh, issue. But uh, this video is going to be twofold. Uh, it's good. again, I'm going to show you what this looks like and why certain things work the way the way they do. But uh, also um, by showing you this, you can remove the torsion bar. Uh, not many people know this. It's very simple. It lifts right out. Literally, that's it. There's nothing connecting it in. Um, that is the torsion bar. Now, if you were to take that piece out, you have a regular manual knife. This is the, you know, without, minus the scale in this case, but this, uh, you know, pushing this, it's just going to manually open, lock in place, okay, and that's it, you have a manual knife. Um, right now, uh, I think these are still, these uh, assisted opening knives are still legal uh, across the, uh, all 50 states, but I'm telling you, knife laws, they, they're never, they're never for knife enthusiasts, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time before they outlaw these, you know, all over the place. I actually heard a couple places like um, Vegas, people had these confiscated, um, and you know, they never got them back. But anyway, this torsion bar, how this works, you have a fat end, or large curve, that goes in the back here in this slot. Okay, let me bring this up. This slot here, okay, that just rests there. And the tip, excuse my dog barking in the background, uh, the tip rests right in this hole. Now it goes through this liner, and that hole is in the blade itself, okay? So it's just going to rest right in that hole. And that's it. Basically, you know, you would put the front scale back on and you're ready to go. Now how this works is this this piece here, as, you know, as the blade's opening or closing, it slides up and down. That's why it's a slot. And like I said, it's connected to the blade through the liner here. Now if I can unlock this, I'll show you how this works. This pushes down, okay, down along that track. And then when it gets around the circle area, uh, right here, the pressure is, whoop, and I just lost the torsion bar, popped out on me because I don't have the, the scale. Let me see if I can grab that. Of course, uh, that wasn't planned. Oop, behind the table here, somewhere. 
course, I got to move this all over the place. Oh, there it is. All right, moving everything back. I should just re remake the video, but I'm I'm really dying with uh, battery power here. Anyway, let me get all this uh, dog hair off of this now. Okay, uh, normally this will this will not uh, happen to you because at this point you're going to have your scale back on. But I'm trying to get this to show you how it works. But basically, um, again, small small end goes in the hole in the blade. But I'm going to put it in the open position. And then the, uh, the back goes in that slot. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Unlocking the, unlocking the uh, frame lock here. As you push this down, what's happening is that the back here, you know, in the open position, this is like towards the middle of the slot. And as you, uh, as you push it down, that's going to stop here. Okay. Now this has nowhere to go anymore. So now the, the piece of metal itself is going to flex or bend. Okay, it's kind of hard to show you here, but it's going to flex out. It's pushing this way, which is creating uh, some pressure, like a spring. Now, once this goes around the circle to this point here, it's almost as if the pressure is uh, it, it's built up and ready to go. But because of how this is curved around by design, um, it's almost like it's not. It doesn't want to jump out yet. That's why when you start pushing this, it catches. Uh, it doesn't really. Well, that's not the right word. It doesn't really catch anything. But basically, once this, this pin gets to the, the you know, middle part of the circle here, that's when all the pressure is released and it swings into the open position, you know, completely locked. So basically, I don't know how I'm going to do this holding. <laughs> See, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of pressure on this right now. Let me try to uh, open it this way. Basically, this is going to, once this gets to a certain point, it's going to swing around the rest of that half circle there. Say I the blade hit my hand, but ba basically that's how it works. And then right into the lock position. And that's all. To remove your torsion bar, you literally just lift it off, and that's it. Now it's a manual knife. Uh, let me put this back together to show you what what it is together. Now, like I said, I put the body screws uh, back on here uh, to hold the pieces together because I have the you have a back spacer, and you have this um, this metal liner. And let's see. Get these screws out. That's one. And don't confuse your screws here because the two body screws are uh, slightly longer than your pivot screw. You wouldn't want to, um, you know, mix them up. But anyway, uh, basic construction. You take the scale off. Then you're going to take this middle liner piece off. Okay. Then you have a back spacer. And then of course your other, um, you know, your other scale. So to put it back together, you have you put your Backspacer on first, then this middle piece. Okay. Now to help you uh, put this together, this center piece here, this is where your pivot screw is going to go through. So you just line that back right back up with the pivot area, right over there. Okay. I'm gonna put my torsion bar in. Now you want to do this with the blade open, of course, so it doesn't. Uh, there's no um, pressure built up or anything. I'm actually, I'm going to put the front scale right back on. Just try to line everything up best you can. Actually, it's probably easier if I leave it down on the table here. Just make it, make sure everything's lined up. A really good tip someone gave me once was actually to, I know it sounds a little ridiculous, but to take pictures. If you're taking a knife apart or anything, really, each time you take a piece off, take a picture. You know, because you're not going to remember it. You might go to put it back together and say, oh, crap, where does this go? But, uh... Basically, make sure everything lined, everything is lined up properly. And actually, my spacer started, my back spacer started to move on me. So I'm gonna try to maneuver that up a little. And that looks good there. Put my body screws in. Gonna wiggle that around. And actually, you know what? I can't. I don't have time to put this actually back together, but I'm gonna pinch. I'm gonna pinch this together as if it was, if the screws were in, to try to show you this. Okay, imagine this is all screwed together, and obviously this is pretty dangerous. But um, pinch that all together. This is the speed assist. And that's basically it. <laughs> I wanted to put it together, but of course I'm out of, I'm almost out of time here. Actually, I know, I know that um, someone told me it could be to have 10 minute videos or more than 10 minutes, but I like to keep it at 10. So anyway. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for your time.